What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids and today in this video we're going to be checking out 20 tweaks for iOS 13. And before we get started, I just want to let you guys know of something important. Some of the tweaks that we're going to be talking about in this video do require a dependency called Rocket Bootstrap. I will list all the tweaks that require Rocket Bootstrap in the description down below. Now the iOS 13 and iOS 12 compatible version of Rocket Bootstrap is only available on the following source that's up on your screen right now and down below in the description. So if you're going to be installing any of the tweaks that require Rocket Bootstrap, make sure you add this source and install the latest version of Rocket Bootstrap from this source in order for your device to run correctly. And of course, all the tweak names, sources, and prices for every tweak that we're going to be talking about in this video can be found in the description down below. Harbor 3 provides iOS with a Mac OS inspired dock. As you can see, we're able to fit many more than the standard four dock applications. And if you drag your finger across the dock, you'll get this really neat magnification effect just like on Mac OS. If you release your finger on an app, it'll open up just like that. Also notice applications that are running have a dot underneath them and applications that have notifications do bounce like so. And if you guys jump over to the settings for this tweak, there's a whole host of options to configure. One Hand Wizard 2 revamps reachability on iOS and adds a ton of options too. It. You can actually resize your entire device's screen size just like this to make it easier to access areas that are normally at the top of the screen with one hand. And your device will stay in this state until you decide to dismiss it by double tapping in the empty space just like that. And this tweak also allows you to easily adjust your volume using these plus and minus buttons and provides options that allow you to take a screenshot, lock your device, go to the control center or the notification center easily with one hand as you can see right there. You're also able to swipe from left to right to move the shrunken window from left to right depending on the position you're holding your device in. And of course if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak there are some options to configure in here. AppBase 2 allows you to set up specific settings for specific applications on your device. So after you install the tweak, you invoke the quick actions menu on an application and select AppBase, and from here you could set the settings. So for the messages application, let's say I wanted my brightness to be set to a low amount, and I wanted dark mode to be enabled automatically, and portrait orientation lock to be enabled. So now whenever I open up the messages app, you can see those settings will automatically apply just like that, and as soon as I exit the application, the settings will go back to normal. So as you can imagine, there's a ton of use cases this tweak could come in handy for, but for instance, let's say I find myself texting at night often, this setup can be particularly helpful because it automatically dims the display and enables dark mode. When I'm in the messages app and then when I exit, it goes back to normal. And of course, if you guys jump over to the settings for app Ace 2, there's a whole host of options to configure in here. Dots 2 adds pulsating color matched notification dots to your lock screen. So when your device is locked and you receive notifications, you'll get these dots based on the color of the application that the notification came from. And of course, as you get more notifications, you can see the dots will be different colors. So it's a subtle way to tell what application you got a notification from without having your entire display wake up. It's also friendly with OLED display devices, so it will not actually light up your entire display if you have an OLED device, but if you don't, it'll just keep the rest of the screen black, so it works either way. And of course, you could just tap on the screen to reveal your normal lock screen where you could actually read the notifications. And of course, if you head over to the preferences for Dots 2, you can configure some options in here. Spring to Mice 5 is an absolute powerhouse of a tweak with a whole host of options to configure. If you go into the settings for the tweak, there's a ton of options to configure. So I'm just gonna show you a few things. So I'm gonna go into the dock and hide the dock background. I'm also going to decrease the icon size on the home screen as well, just a little bit here. And we'll also hide the icon labels as well. So we're gonna go back out here and respring to apply the changes. All right, and the changes have applied as you can see right here. So this is just a few of the options that this tweak has. There's so much to be found with Spring to Mice. Cast Switcher brings the iPad style grid switcher to the iPhone. As you can see right here, looks quite nice, works exactly as you'd expect. iDapt will theme your home screen icons depending on whether your device is in dark mode or light mode. So as you can see right here, I am in light mode and notice all my home screen icons are light. Now watch what happens when I enable dark mode. As you can see right here, all the home screen icons themselves will actually shift to a darker state. So this really takes dark mode to the next level, again, customizing the home screen as well. And I also think it's definitely worth noting that iDapt supports over 200 third-party app store icons. Now, in order to use iDapt, you do need to have Snowboard installed, which is a theming engine. So after you've installed Snowboard and iDapt, you go into the Snowboard settings, and then you go to Select Theme. And from here, you can enable and disable both the light and dark themes. Next up, we have 2Dock. Now, if you guys are using an iPhone 10, you're gonna wanna install 2Dock X iOS 13. And if you're using an iPhone 8 and below, you're gonna wanna install 2Dock iOS 13. This tweak adds an additional row to your dock and allows you to store five apps in each row versus the standard four. Quit All adds a clear button to the top of the app switcher so you can easily kill all applications in the app switcher with one tap. And of course, if you guys head over to the preferences panel for Quit All, there are some options to configure in here. 
select text colors allows you to change the color of the text selection menu in iOS. As you can see right here, I have it changed to red. And of course, to set this up, you want to jump over to the settings for this tweak. And in here, you can configure the color. Arial 2 allows you to change the color of the icons in your status bar. As you can see right here, I have various different custom colors for various different elements here. And of course, this is configurable inside the settings for the tweak. There's a ton of different options that you can customize the color for and a ton of different colors for each option. Cask 2 brings animated scrolling to table views in iOS. As you can see right here, when you're scrolling in list views like this inside iOS, you'll get these nice animations. And if you guys go into the settings for the tweak, there are a few different animations to choose from. Here's a different one right here. You can see definitely spices up the way that things look. And inside the settings for the tweak, there's also a few other options to configure. Normally in iOS, the wallpaper in the background of the phone call interface is blur, but as you can see right here, a clear call removes that blur. Normally in iOS, notifications display app names in all caps. However, with lower the notifs, as you can see, it makes all of the titles lowercase. Tempest Romanum allows you to change your time to Roman numerals. As you can see right here, it works in the status bar. You could also enable it for the cover sheet slash lock screen area as well. And if you guys jump into the settings for the tweak, you can configure it to your liking in here. Here. Volume percent will add a percentage to the volume HUD in iOS 13. As you can see, it works in the shrunken view and in the expanded view. Now, if you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, there are some options to configure in here. Hide surplus allows you to hide your icon labels, your dock background, and folder labels. If you guys jump into the settings for this tweak, you can configure the ability to hide all of those things. Normally in iOS, if you want to enter trackpad mode on the keyboard by tapping and holding, you have to do it on the space bar. However, with any key trackpad, you're able to tap and hold on keys that aren't the space bar to enter trackpad mode. Of course, if you have a 3D touch capable device, you could just 3D touch anywhere on the keyboard to enter trackpad mode. This is mainly aimed at people who don't have 3D touch on their device or have it disabled. And if you guys head over to the settings for any key trackpad, there are a few options to configure. Normally in iOS, the navigation bar in the Messages app and Conversations is transparent, so you can see a blurred version of the bubbles as you're scrolling. However, with Solid Messages banner, that transparency is completely removed. Rounded Modules rounds the modules in the Control Center, as you can see right here, just going for a fresh look. Alright everybody, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.